Here we go, I think we are now live. So this is Live at Five, our very first Divine Live at Five. It's taken me a few weeks to uh, to get ready or get used to this little, little lockdown kind of thing. It's just not, uh, it doesn't sit with me very well. So it's taken me a few weeks to, uh, to get myself sort of sorted and figure out what it was that we were gonna do. So hopefully, we, uh, we're going to bring a little bit of Divine Fabulous back to um, our lockdown sort of situation. So what I want to try and do every day for the next week, live at five, that's if you want me to and that's if you, you uh, carry on and follow, um, we're going to come up with some ideas for you to have a little bit of fabulousness at home using what you've got. Not doing anything too extraordinary, not using sort of like ridiculous ingredients and using stuff that you can get from around you. Um, and it just give you a little bit of fun, a little bit of inspiration, um, uh, maybe something that you can do tomorrow with the kids um, and a little treat for the adults for the end of it all. So I'm breaking it down into three little things. So each day we're going to try and attack three certain, um, certain elements. So we're going to look at food, we're going to look at cocktails and we're going to look at flowers. So I'm going to do one of each, just simple little things that you can do at home, easily at home. Um, and maybe you can follow me. So uh, Mo, how are you doing? Lovely Mo, you can uh, help me. Um, you can uh, you can do this at home. You're the cocktail queen, Mo, so I'm sure you can do this. Um, so let's get started. And we've got, we're gonna try and do this sort of like in about in 20 minutes or so, because I'm sure you'll get bored of watching me um, after 20 minutes. But uh, I'm very pleased to have been able to get dressed up again today, get back to normal, um, uh, and try and sort of get, uh, get with the program. So Liam, how are you? Chef, I apologize. Uh, Ronnie, how are you doing? I apologise for uh, trying to be a chef uh, as we go on this, this, this afternoon, so please bear with me for my little chefy bits. Um, but uh, we need to get started, we need to kick off. So I'm going to say cheers. It's five o'clock somewhere, glass of wine. This is a beautiful Petit Chablis from the fabulous um, wine, butchers, Old Butcher's Wine Shop. They are still delivering. They'll be Paul and Angela are making every effort to try and get wine to everybody. So this is one of theirs, little Petit Chablis. So cheers, everybody. Hmm. Right, let's get going. Let's have a bit of fun. So, we're going to do a basic little um, Dauphinoise potato. Um, it's a very easy thing. It's a very easy recipe. This is a slight little cheat or a different sort of take on it. It's not a classic Dauphinoise. But why, you know, why not have a little bit of luxury while you're at home? You've got the time to actually experiment and do something like this so that it's not just mashed potato, roast potato, whatever. So we have a dish, a nice big dish. That's a nice heavy dish. We're just going to put a little bit of butter into the dish. I just need to um, grease up the dish. So we just pop a little bit of butter in. I'm just using my hand just to grease the sides. Seems like drinking on the job. <laughs> Liam, I'm always drinking on the job, you know that. That's why I have a watch that says five o'clock and doesn't say anything else. So butter in. We'll leave the knob of butter at the bottom because that will help. Oh, my beautiful little sister, Chips, thank you so much for saying I'm an amazing cook. You haven't seen the end product yet. Let's just tuck my little uh, apron there. So, dough from Australia. We have a dish. We're going to need seasoning, obviously, because we need to season potatoes quite a lot. So, these are just regular ordinary potatoes. Maris Piper are the better ones. They're the best. I've done a little bit of prep, so I've got some pre-sliced. But we'll just slice up some more. A little tip when you're slicing up, uh, when you're slicing potatoes, if you're not so confident. Just take a little slice off the bottom, that then makes it sit flat. So put that in there, and then we just go through. Just slice up the potatoes. We'll do another one. So again, just slice off a little bit from the bottom so that it sits flat. So we just slice the potatoes down so that we get nice, nice fine slices. Clearly, Blue Peter or Divine Style, there's some I made earlier. So potatoes sliced and in they go. So with this, as I said, seasoning, you need a lot of seasoning. So potatoes love to soak up flavours and seasoning. So salt, skills. Skills. salt and pepper, my, my infamous knife skills. So in they go. A little bit of cloth in there. So let's put my potatoes with my potatoes and get some other ingredients ready. So we have our first little layer of potatoes at the bottom. And then I'm going to go to some, some cheese, some hard cheese. Now, usually, usually we would put Gruyere through this, um, but obviously in the times that we have, who has a little block of Gruyere sitting around? Actually, we have, but I'm going to use hard cheese, cheddar. Good old cheddar. So these are more like sort of like cheesy gratinated gratin potatoes. Classic Dauphinoise, as I say, you put sort of Gruyere or something like that through it. So just break down that block, take it off quickly. 
As I say, we're going to try and do this uh, this week. We'll see if you like it. We're doing food, flowers, and a little cocktail washed down with some wine. So, cheese grated. Let's just pop that to one side. I'm going to use a little bit of garlic as well. Ooh. I'm back, add a shot, there we go. So a couple of cloves of garlic. Now if you've got one of those lovely fancy garlic press, just whack it through a garlic press if you haven't. The heel of a knife, that releases the, the uh, skin. So you take that off, just make sure that's all off. That then gives you the nice little cloves. Now all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna chop through this very quickly. So again, using the heel of the knife, Make sure I've got all of that uh, skin out. So just very quickly chop through. So I'm just taking the garlic down. Do you deliver? <laughs> yeah, yeah, delivery service is available. <laughs> Along with flowers. We're delivering flowers again. Yay, look, I've got some beautiful flowers back in. So I'm just taking the garlic down. So I'm just, as you can see, I'm just running the knife through, back and forth. So we're just taking it a little lower. As I say, if you've got a garlic press, garlic press works just as well. So one layer of potatoes are already in. I'm literally just gonna put a tiny little bit of garlic in the bottom because it's nice to have that little hit of garlic in the bottom, then liquid. So, cream, we're using cream, obviously. So we whack in the cream. This is just leftover cream from Sunday. This is, as I say, this is just an alternative to doing something, um, something different to the usual. So Alexa, is that Alexa I see? Mm -hmm. Alexa, happy birthday for yesterday, gorgeous girl. I hope you had a fabulous day. So I've added a little bit of milk just to release the cream, just to relax the cream down a little bit. So I'm then going to put the rest of my garlic in here, just pop it into the milk. So I'm just going to let that infuse the milk ever so quickly, ever so slightly. <laughs> I know, Liam. So that goes in. <laughs> I am not wearing glasses. I will put my glasses in a minute, so I can't actually see comments that are flashing up and down. But thank you so much for your comments. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in. So potatoes in the bottom. We then add in some cheese. So I'm just gonna add in a little bit of cheese. And then as I say, then we add another layer of potatoes. So you don't have to be too specifically, fabulously even with all of this. This is just something, it's a bit rustic. It's a bit, it's just something different, a little bit of a treat. Just because we're in lockdown doesn't mean we can't have a little bit of a treat. So there we go, another layer of potatoes. Let's squish that down nice and tight. And then adding in, uh, sorry, adding in a little bit more seasoning. So just season the potatoes as you go. Tiny bit of pepper because I don't want to overpower it too much. I've got that lovely garlickiness coming through. And a little bit of cheese. <sighs> Chips, you know what we like for cheese, Christine. <laughs> and potatoes. Cheese and potatoes, good old Irish basics. So then we're finishing off with another little layer of potatoes. So now this one, just try and make it so that we have all the potatoes. All the potatoes are covered. Little Max and Neve, you watching? How are you? <laughs> Haven't seen you guys for so long, missed you. Mwah. So, last layer of potatoes have gone on. Let's get rid of the potatoes. They're on. Last little thing, season, season. A little bit of salt. Tiny, tiny bit of pepper. As I say, quick and easy dough from whilst potato. I'm just trying to, we're trying to give you a little bit of, a little bit of slice of fun, a little bit of something that's something that you could easily do tomorrow with the kids, or do for yourself as a little treat. But I just want to show that it's not, it's not sort of like, uh, it's not a delicate, it's not a, a difficult dish to make. It's quite easy, but it's going to be so beautiful when we finish, when we do this. So I'm then just pouring on the rest of the liquid. Now you want, or all of the liquid, I should say. Now you want the liquid to try and cover, um, the potatoes or at least come up to the bottom the top of the bottom layer so just add in a little bit of extra garlic and cream just going in there i hate making a mess when i'm doing this so i apologize so there we go then we're just going to add on so we want to make these beautifully cheesy so we get a nice nice cheesy top everyone loves a cheesy <laughs> top uh, so that goes in and that goes on so there we go, that's our dough from our potatoes. Now we're gonna whack that in the oven. It takes about, roughly about 45 minutes, and you want about 180 degrees heat, something along those lines. Um, and, uh, and then we're just gonna cook that. I would just sort of foil this over for the, first, for the first half an hour, just to let a bit of steam build in there as well, because you've got potatoes on the top. It just helps cook them sort of so well. Hi Chloe, better Melly, how are you doing? Um, just cooks them and uh, just helps sort of cook and, and get the, 
get the, uh, the cooking even. So about 45 minutes, maybe an hour to give you a nice little crispy top. So we're gonna pop that, pop that in the oven and we'll come back to that in a second. Good, so, right. So let me just clear off my board. So that's the joke from our potatoes. Done, easy, I told you. Quick, simple, that's what we want to try and do in our little divine live of five. I just want to do some little fun things that are easy for you to do. If I can, if anybody has um, some requests, if anybody wants to see anything, any little cheats, I want to give you some sort of chef cheats. Um, back in the day when I used to be a chef, when I trained as a chef, I've got some little tips and some ideas and some cheats for you. So I want to be able to show you those as well. So if you've got any, I'm going from um, Facebook to uh, Insta. Instagram. So I'll just keep changing my my view there. So if, if anyone's got any ideas or anything they want to see, then just um, drop us a line, let us know what, what's going on. With the dough from potatoes, and I hope in the time that we have, I'm going to um, fry off a little bit of salmon. We are very, very lucky. I know. In the, area that, in the area that we are, we've got some fantastic produce and some beautiful stuff, and we are still able to have it delivered to the door. Um, and we are very, very lucky that on our, very, on our doorstep in Cookham, that they serve Windsor and Henley, and they go all over the place, um, is the, I'm trying to see, the Wild Fish Project. It's Jack and Suzanne Furlong Johns. Now, they um, popped into us yesterday as a massive, massive surprise, and they brought us this incredible side of sound. So we have this fabulous, fabulous side of salmon. Now, what I want to do is maybe do salmon on croute uh, with you in a quick and easy way in the next sort of day or so, because obviously it needs to be used. Um, or maybe some salmon fish cakes, I don't know, something like that. But I just wanted just to, I just wanted to do a little bit today to go with our dough from potatoes. So we have this beautiful, Trish beautiful Burns. side of salmon. My beautiful little cousin Trish Burns in Ireland. How the hell are you? Nice to see you. So we're gonna take a knife, very, very sharp knife. Very sharp, but not clean, sorry. So we're just going to take a little, well, I'm going to take a little slice, a little piece of the salmon. I'm just literally going to go straight through the skin, take that off. We're going to use the tail, we'll make fish cakes with that later. And they're going to take a lovely, lovely fillet of this. Jill Mill says your talents are in this. She loves <laughs> we're going to take a little fillet of this, sorry, I didn't cut that very well. I got a little concern, a little <laughs> sidetrack there. Jill Neal, how are you? Um, and we take a couple, I'll take two little fillets of salmon off. It's all been prepped and done, beautifully descaled, uh, so it's ready to roll. So I have these two stunning fillets, and I'm going to pan fry them quickly. We'll do that in a minute. I'm just going to move these to one side, and we'll come back to them in a bit. Yorkshire puddings, please. That's one request. We can show, show you fabulous Yorkshire puddings. So I'm going to put the rest of this salmon to one side. What I, what I, as I say, what I hope we're going to do is we'll trim up the salmon, we'll create a beautiful fillet of salmon through the middle, and I'll show you, if I can, this week, We'll show you um, how to do a very quick and easy uh, salmon croute. It'll be a stunning, stunning recipe. Right, let me just lose the board. Okay, so. Pizza dough, another one. Oh, pizza, we can do a pizza class. Of course we could, for the kids chips. as well. That would be, of course it's from <laughs> chips. How to do pizza, of course we Right, let me just clean down the side. So. We have our dough from our potato in the oven. That's cooking. That is going to take 45 minutes, but obviously by the magic of divine at five, live, we've got one already in the oven waiting for us to uh, come back to shortly. Um, we also, we've got some salmon that we're going to uh, cook off um, shortly. Uh, and I'm just going to have, have a little a drink. drink of wine, just because you know, I'm trying to squeeze all of this in in 20 minutes. And I'm failing miserably because we're only 15 minutes in. Right, here we go. <laughs> Number two, flowers. I wanted to try and do something on our very first one. This is something that we actually do quite a lot for parties. And we actually do these quite a lot in the shop um, um, for gifts and, and so on. And it's basically, we just use beautiful, beautiful little flowers. We just bring little flowers together. Um, and I've got, as I say, we've got sort of a lot here that um, we've been using. I've got some behind me sort of hiding away, in the shots. Well, you know, uh, uh, no, you can't see them. But what we do, we do little clusters, we do little gatherings of flowers. Now this is something you can do from the garden, you could do with the kids easily. So you just take, take flowers that you've got, that you cut, take off all of the foliage below a certain point. Now this is very important. So we're gonna create a little cluster, which will go in a jam jar or a glass or something like that. You don't have to have jam jars. 
because not everybody sort of uses them or produces them or has jam jars knocking around. So I'm literally just, I'm just getting lots of little flowers. And the important thing, as I say, the important thing here, pull off the little bits at the bottom. So you don't want any of the little foliage bits getting in your way at the bottom, basically. So just a few bits there. You just want nice long stems and lots of little bits. Now, another important thing is keep them in the clusters. As you're sort of prepping them up, put them in clusters. Then you can see you're in control of what you've got sitting in front of you. So always sort of tidy away, keep them there. So, so we have our flowers. We're starting to pull this together now. So I'm going to start now. Again, this is not rocket science. Nobody's testing yet. It's something for you to have a little bit of fun with yourself or for the kids. You just take your flowers. Now just gently hold it between your thumb and your finger. Or gin bottles work. So we're just using them. Yes, it's that Liam. <laughs> <laughs> Empty gin bottles are fabulous, Liam. So we take some beautiful flowers. Now, as I say, lots of stuff in the garden and you're just going to start layering it in. Now, I'm going to do this at a 45 degree angle because I just do it naturally. You don't have to at all. You're basically, we're just loading flowers in to the hand and we're just wanting Christoph. to mix them round. <laughs> Christoph, <laughs> the professional florist tunes in just when I start doing flowers. That's scary. So we're just going to do that. Now, whilst I've got that there, I'm going to add, so we're going to take, I've got some little tulips, I've got um, gerberas and I've got a bit of archimillimollis which will mean nothing to most people. So this grows in the garden sort of like a weed, but it's beautiful, Archimillimollis, a gerbra, tulip. So I'm just adding this in to give us a little bit of colour. Can you see sort of where we're going with that? Just sort of builds it up slightly, just adds a little bit of colour. Now a bit of foliage, a little bit of Archimillimollis. Now as I say, this is something that's so simple for you to do with the kids or for yourself. Just because you're in lockdown doesn't mean you cannot have a beautiful table. Some little fabulous things. Now this also works with foliage, just simple foliage or herbs, just looks fabulous. So you can see, you can see that we're just pulling, pulling the flowers together, we're just sort of scattering them around so that we've got a nice, a nice mix. I'm doing, as I say, I'm going in sort of at 45 degree angles. It, that helps give you a bit of sort of projection. So you're projecting through, the flowers are sort of popping out at you. Popping. <laughs> as they would from my people to your people <laughs> so they're just going in there like Ken's that on board. oh it's beautiful so kenneth how the devil are you missing you so they're all loading in like that actually i'm missing everybody that's why i'm doing this i'm reaching out to try and see you all i haven't seen Manny yet <laughs> um so there you go so there we have a little beautiful little cluster like that so a little bit of string twine whatever you've got lying around and then you just wrap it a couple of times around do that again. And then we tie that <laughs> we tie that off. So you just tie a little double knot, which gives you that beautiful, beautiful sort of beautiful little posy. Now, that little posy, and then just gonna chop the stems. And what I'm then gonna do, as I say, we would usually put this in a little jam jar, um, just to present it, a little ribbon tied around the jam jar or something, a little string, something cute. But I know that at the time you don't, not everybody's got jam jars lying around. But well, what you probably have got are some beautiful glasses. These ones clearly are courtesy of the Bell and Dragon. <laughs> Don't tell them. <laughs> we were going to return them, but they had to go on lockdown. So, a little bit of cold water, obviously. A little bit of cold water, beautiful little posy Ronnie. of flowers. Ronnie, love it. Is Ronnie on there? <laughs> yeah. Hi, Ronnie. You're not there anymore, it doesn't matter. We're getting them for your next venture, Ronnie. <laughs> So a little bit of beautiful little crystal blade base at the bottom of the glass just adds a little bit of extra intrigue. Now what I'm going to try and show you on this worktop, if you had a beautiful table, which I'm sure you all have in your fabulous homes, this is a fabulous way of, um, of, just get rid of, that, of dressing your table. And why shouldn't you dress your table? You might be on lockdown, we can't go to restaurants, we can't see beautiful flowers like this all the time, so do it at home, have it. Do it for yourself. Mommy. So what I've done, how are you, Mammy? So what I've done, what I've done is we've just pulled exactly the same sort of thing. And as I say, we do this quite a bit for fabulous parties and weddings. It's just a beautiful way to do it. So I've just created a few more little vases. Now what we do with these little vases, so this is clearly, surprisingly, this is a shot glass. <laughs> so you then just place them, place them along the table and put them in little clusters. So there's a little Sunday bowl. There's a little, that was a little spice vase. And you literally, you just put them all in little clusters, 
and then spread them along the worktop or along the surface. Where's the LMP bucket from? <laughs> the LMP bucket belongs to us. So I'm out of shot now, so you probably can't see this. Let me move this one up a little bit. So we go at little tiny clusters along the worktop. So I'm hoping that you can sort of see. Ronnie says he taught you well. So you are. You taught me well at borrowing things from the um, Bell and Dragon or my chefing skills, Ronald. Thank you. Um, so there we go. So this is just a tiny, tiny little idea. So little flowers placed along. Houston's watching. In Houston. How right. are you? Calling Houston. So if you can see that. So you just put a little bit of stretch along so that we create this beautiful, beautiful little array of flowers stretching along the whole of the table. And then if you want to, if you want to get fancy, if it's Sunday lunch, if you're entertaining the family, because you have to, because you're on lockdown, so you're all in the same boat, then let's just add in a few little rose petals. Just gives you that connectivity, makes it really pretty. It's all stuff from the garden. It's dead easy, to, hopefully it's dead easy to do. It's something there to, to just sort of, you know, brighten up your table. Um, yeah, there you go. That's our little flower idea for today. As I said, we're gonna try and do a little flower idea every day. Something different every day, just so that you can have a bit of a bit of fun, a bit of enjoyment, you know, use what's in the garden. And, or if you want to, order some flowers from us because we're back open on our web shop. We've got fresh flowers coming in every day at the moment. So we have a variety. Can't guarantee, but we have a variety. Right, I'm going back here. You might not be able to see me. I'm just going to whack on some heat. David Devine. Dave, David Devine, cousin David. How the devil are you? Ian Lindsay. It's so nice catching up with everybody. Right, I put a pan on. I'm just waiting for that pan to get warm. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil into the pan. I know that um, our camera work, our camera work is is a little dodgy here because uh, usually we would have our fabulous professionals Ben and Catherine from Black Black Chili Videos helping us, but we haven't because we're in lockdown. So um, so we're trying to do this ourselves, obviously. Cheers, everybody. <coughs> So I'm just heating up the pan. Whilst that pan is starting to warm up for me, I'm going to go back over here and we're going to get started. We're going to get started on our cocktail. So it's cocktail time. This is the best bit. Yeah, <laughs> this is actually <laughs> probably the only bit anybody wants to see. So cocktail time. Fresh board, obviously a nice clean board. Nice clean knife. I think it says spring personified. Right, oh, so it is. A bit of spring. Right, again, we get a, I want to try and look at, maybe we we'll are maybe do a classic cocktail sort of later on. Um, I'm definitely going to do a gin martini, maybe even a Vespa, because that's my favourite, a classic gin martini. We're definitely going to whack a Cosmo together, because those of you that know us know that that's actually what runs through our blood. Um, but what I'm going to do today is, it's a bit of a leftover sort of cocktail. So these fabulous fruit uh, baskets, fruit boxes are coming to us at the moment from um, from the fabulous blue banana veg boxes. Um, Jez and Sarah, Je Sarah Jane? Sarah Jane, um, Hi Sarah Jane, how are you? Thank you so much for keeping us all going with these fabulous fruit boxes. Now, in these fruit boxes you get an array of stuff. There's one to coming to us on Thursday, so we will use it and I'll show you what comes in it, but they are fab. Um, so for the past few weeks we've been getting beautiful pineapples, so I'm gonna do a pineapple cocktail for you today. Dead easy, dead simple. <laughs> <laughs> so, dead simple, dead, dead simple. This one's so easy. Beautiful pineapple. Now these pineapples, this one is from a week ago. So it's not this week's just gone, it's from a little bit, little bit before then. Um, and we're just gonna take the top off and I'll put the top to one side because again, the top you can use for garnish. I'll show you something else that we can do with that later. Just checking the heat behind me. And I'm just gonna whiz it round. And I'm not gonna take the bottom off. I'm gonna take a section because I don't wanna use all of this. So don't skin the whole lot. So, off comes, no, that's fine. Off comes the bottom of the pineapple. Now, we have a little pineapple chunk. Let's just get rid of the skin on the pineapple very quickly. So the easiest way to do that is to cut it into chunks and then just get rid of it. I don't want any of the little nasty bits. So I'm just gonna get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it. This is beautiful, sweet pineapple. It's so fabulous. Now, clearly I'm going to make, I'm gonna be making a slightly um, potent alcohol, uh, alcoholized adult cocktail now. But this is something that you could do for the kids. 
um, and where I am going to put uh, certain alcoholic ingredients into it, you could add sort of like orange cordial or fresh orange apple or juice. apple juice. Um, you could turn it into a smoothie, put, uh, put uh, ice cream into it, uh, creme fraiche, you know, uh, bulk it with a banana. Um, whatever you sort of, um, whatever you've got, but this for us adults, I'm just going to check my heat. Just need a hand to get a little bit warmer. So for us adults, this is sort of one of the basic ingredients that, uh, that we're going to need. So I'm just going to chunk my pineapple down a little bit more. So again, just quick and simple. Uh, this is all going into a liquidizer, so they don't have to be pretty and beautiful. I'm just chunking down. The pineapple, just a little bit. I cannot believe how quickly time goes, live at five, and we're ticking on. As I say, thank you all so much for joining us and watching and, and taking part. I was going insane because I, I'm missing meeting and seeing everybody, and this is just my way of connecting. And what a fabulous way to connect to cousins in Ireland and, and everybody that we would normally see on a daily basis or whatever in Cookham. So, cheers, everybody. Thank you so thank much you. for being here. Uh, Mr. Carroll, well done last night. Uh, fabulous gig. I did. We were watching from um, from a, a little uh, an app. I hope you guys are very well loved to you all. Mm. Uh, I'm not the drunk chef. I promise. It's just it is five o'clock somewhere, so I'm the chef, but not the drunk chef. So I've got a bit of heat, bit of heat. I, I would like a bit more, but we're going to go without that. Um, if Ronnie is still watching, I apologise that I am using one of your bowls as well. But you know, we will return them. Eventually, well, you know, you don't care anymore, do you? So, I'm just going to season up my salmon, and I'm just going to add a little, little bit of pepper. I'm just keeping this. This salmon is so fresh; it's so beautiful. What I want to do to that is just add a tiny bit of, a tiny bit of lemon, just to give it that. Now, what I do want to do here is just flip it over. Ooh, ooh, ooh pips! It's very, very bad. That's so chefy of me. So bad. Right, <laughs> so what I do want to do here is add some salt to the back. Now I want to add salt to the back because we want this to be crisp. We want the skin to be nice and crisp. So we're going to go back over to my pan quickly. And into the pan I'm going to go skin side down. You get that beautiful sizzle. It's the blonde in the back Skin side down. <laughs> yes, the reason that Jane isn't uh, going anywhere near the camera is because she's missing her hairdresser. <laughs> quite massively. <laughs> so, so Jane won't be appearing this side of the camera anytime soon. She has mine's just growing longer and longer. I should be touching my hair. So, which... Right, so enough foolery. Right, back to the seriousness of making a cocktail. So we have our basic ingredient, which is sitting here in front of me, our fabulous pineapple. Get a grab. A liquidizer. Dun, dun, dun. Liquidizer in hand. Into this liquidizer, I am going to throw some ice. So into the liquidizer goes a lot of ice. Whack it all in, beautiful bag of ice. So I just want to crunch it up a little bit to emulsify it slightly and our first ingredient into our cocktail, white wine. Any white wine you like. So if there's one that somebody's brought around to your house and you don't like, um, then chuck that in, because you're not really going to, oops, you're not really going to taste the flavor of the wine too much. So then, we, then we're going to turn that into our wine. So So we've mushed that down nicely. So in there we've got the wine slash puppy. Let's just check on our salmon. No, 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 no. There we go. Salmon's cool. Cool. Perfect timing. So salmon is uh, kicking away nicely. Into our little slash puppy, we're going to add our pineapple. Fabulous pineapple. Now this has a beautiful sweetness to it. So you don't need to worry about sugar syrup or anything like that. Then, Let's just start that whizzing again. We're going to add in some more wine to get it moving. Whilst that's all, if you can hear me, whilst that's all, emulsify it. And then we're going to go to our main ingredients. 
We're going to chase the pineapple around with some vodka. <laughs> so in we go. Let's go away. So plenty of vodka, a good lick of vodka going in there. Now with that, let me just turn it there. So with that, we're then going to start adding in a little bit of lime juice. South Africa! This is for you, baby. So we're adding some lime because we're just going to sharpen that up ever so slightly. Because we've got that beautiful sweetness, we've got the wine, that's a little bit sweeter, so it's all fat. So with that, that's all the lost of lime. Missing ingredients. A little bit of rum, we just go looking for the game. I'm out gay. So literally a little slug, just a little slug, because I don't want this to be about rum. Okay, so what's that? There we go. So leave that to one side. Back to the salmon. Our skin is fabulously crispy. Our wow, skin is fabulously crispy. I'm just going to add a tiny bit more lemon to the pan. Cousin Barbara. Oh, Barbara, how are you? Where are your photographs, Barbara? I'm missing them. Uh, so a little bit of that. So let's start clearing the decks down and start getting ready to go. So, there we go. So let's do our little flowers. Our beautiful little flowers, as I say. We're going to try and go live at five. Clear the decks, a couple of margarita glasses, this is our frozen pineapple fabulousness. Let's just slosh this up a little bit. Now into a beautiful glass, let's go with this. Ooh, nice. Let's pull out some juice from the bottom. Now you can see it's got a beautiful Beautiful, frothy head. Now that stuff is like amber nectar. It's just going to be stunning. In you go, slosh a bit more in. Now, as I say, you can turn this into a little smoothie for the kids. Obviously, leaving out the vodka, the rum, and everything else that's alcoholic. Love, Liam, so let's Liam. just finish that in there like that. How fabulous is that? Now we're going to go a bit. We're going to go a bit fancy. A little bit fancy on this. So a little bit of icing sugar, tiny bit of icing sugar in a sieve. So this is kind of, this is almost like a pineapple meringue pie. And we just finish it with a little dusting of icing sugar. Now that icing sugar gives you the most phenomenal sweetness <laughs> when you just take that first little taste. Oh God, it is incredible. Jane, there you go. Let's just have Thank a quick, quick serve of that. Cheers, everybody. Little pineapple, let's just taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Beautiful. Oh my god, that's beyond good. <laughs> right, let's get ready to plate. So, we have, we have a beautiful cocktail, we have our plate. We're going to go in now for dough from our potatoes, which have been cooking. Mmm, this is yum, yum. We have enough for 20, who's coming for dinner? <laughs> so we now go to our potatoes. Now, as I say, these have been in the oven cooking. Wow. So these are a bit sort of... They're not classic. Ronnie, please don't kill me. Don't shoot me. And I, I forgive, forgive me for doing this. Let me just handle this very, very hot. So these are not classic. They're a bit sort of gratinated. Oh. They're a beautiful Dauphinoise style potato. Oh. They've got lots of cheese and garlic and potato. Oh. And it's all fabulous layered through there. So let me just repeat. Ooh, ooh, sorry. So we're going to plate up. Guys, just joined. Something so very, very simple. Hi, guys. He's busy doing something. Who's busy doing something? Me. He's running late. <laughs> I know. We should be. Oh my God, we're so over time. No, I'm sorry. no guy is running late, not you. Oh right. Okay, so here we go. We're just going to play it up. Simple, simple supper. Joe from Wild Potatoes. Let's take a fabulous spoonful of this magnificence, and we're just going to <gasps> literally oh, straight that. to plate. Straight to plate. I'm trying to get the nice crispy bits on top. Is so easy, your kids, you, this is just like a treat. I know you don't need warming food, but serve this with a, with a, a chicken Caesar salad as a little sort of side dish to it. Oh my God, it's Can amazing. Can anyone your talent? It's, um, <laughs> I'm just going to, just need to remove this little bit here. 
So we've got that dragon wine potatoes, if you can see it, just a little bit of dragon wine on the plate. And then bring over our salmon. So our salmon is pan fried, perfect, three, four, what have I done, two, seven minutes, something like that. Lime and lemon, lemon juice crispy is going in there. Skin. Beautiful, beautiful crispy skin. skin. So I don't want that skin to go to, 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 uh, to go soggy. So we're going to go straight in with the salmon and we're just going to lay that straight on top of the dough from our potatoes. So I'm just going to do one piece because I don't want to over, over salmon my potatoes. Keep it very, very simple. I'm then serving that. James said you juggle as well. <laughs> I'm done juggling everything, love. Um, and then serving that if I could spot where I have put my big knife. There we go. So, mm -hmm, very quickly, just a little bit. A okay. little bit of lime. So just two little pieces of lime. And I'm just putting those on there just to basically just to give us a little bit of colour. So the lime goes on. And then just going to finish this very quickly. Very chef. -y. Tiniest, tiniest drizzle of of olive oil, a little frissons of lime juice, clean the plate, just clean the plate off. And there we go, boys and girls. Wow. Um, yeah, that's very hot, be careful. So there we go. That's just uh, a quick pan fried salmon fillet or a pan fried oh. salmon. Dover more potatoes and um, so a little bit of fresh, little bit of lime going on there with our, our beautiful pineapple cocktail meringue surprise and our fabulous little cluster of flowers. As I say, this is just a bit of fun, just to break the monotony of lockdown for all of us. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I am promising that I'm going to try and do five at live and make it last 20 minutes, half an hour without running over. This was the first one. I was very nervous doing this. So, it's, it's, uh, so, so that's Cheers, why I was a little Danny, slow. You did really well. Cheers, everybody. Have the most, let me just try this, have the most fabulous, oh, it's a bit too big for me, have the most fabulous Monday evening. We will be back tomorrow, five, live, Divine is live at five. I'd love for you to join us, it would be lovely to see you, lovely to keep you company. Uh, Any from hints tomorrow? All of us, uh, from Janie and myself, we, I don't know really, what are we going to do tomorrow? I make it up as we go along, risotto? so who knows. Oh, yeah, yeah, risotto, let's do a risotto. We, we've got some butternut squash. We do a butternut squash risotto, we'll do a classic cocktail tomorrow, and I'll do something fabulously flowery as a very, very simple table centre. So, from us to you, stay safe, have a fabulous Monday. Thank you so much for your company. If you've got nothing else to do tomorrow and you've got nowhere else to be, then join us five live by Divine. Bye. See ya. Thanks so much for joining. Bye bye, Instagram. Facebook. Love you all. Thanks so much. Bye bye bye.